When coyotes are in the wild, we are not concerned. But when coyotes move into our neighborhoods, we become reactive. Let's discover what coyotes like, what attracts them to an urban area, and what can we do to reduce the impacts. In the wild, coyotes have many choices to eat from. They are omnivores, and they will eat anything from wild berries, fruits, rabbits, rats, young mammals or birds, snakes, or carrion, better known as roadkill. In our communities, these same animals or conditions exist. However, coyotes will always take the easiest prey before tiring out to chase down their prey, like a rabbit. If coyotes are in your neighborhood, or you want to discourage them from coming to your neighborhood, here is a checklist of solutions that you may find effective in the defense against the urban coyote. Our main concern against coyotes is our children. Please do not leave your small children unattended in the yard or at a playground. If approached by a coyote, pick up your child and be aggressive towards the coyote. Yell, scream, or flail your arms to distract the coyote. Joggers can consider carrying a boat whistle. It has a very loud pitch that will discourage a coyote very quickly. If you walk a small dog, keep the dog on the leash within six foot of your body. If the coyote does not back off, pick up your dog, yell and scream, or better yet, carry a stick if you know that coyotes are in your area and threaten to hit it or hit it. Seal your trash, keep it fenced up, or the best solution is to place it in an enclosed area like a garage. This best removes any possibility that the coyote can get into your trash and have a food source. Small dogs, outdoor cats, unkept trash areas, and pet food left unattended outdoors attract coyotes to your neighborhood. Pick up and remove pet food from the outdoors when your pet is done eating. Leftovers are just a free meal to the coyotes. Coyotes consider spaces like this to crawl under and sleep for the day or to have a litter of pups. And don't forget about those trailers and vehicles that are stored on the property for a while. Look under them every now and then. Better yet, try to place a lattice or screening around areas like this to prevent the coyotes from getting in there. Six-foot fences can be erected to discourage coyotes from coming into your yard. Watch for digging underneath of them and for holes that they can get through. If you have a yard that is a natural setting, remember that coyotes will seek areas to sleep or to have litters of pups. You may want to keep shrubs pruned back. Urban coyotes are not new, and several states like California, Nevada, Colorado, and New York have been adjusting their lives with coyotes for years. Programs like Keep Them Wild teach the community pointers on coyote awareness and how to discourage them from their community. There are certain things that we cannot control about the coyotes. They do serve an ecological purpose for controlling small predators and crop-eating animals. They kill and eat dogs and outdoor cats. They are potential threats for unattended small children. And we cannot remove all the coyotes from an area, for more will move in and fill the gap. What we can control is having an awareness of coyotes in our area. Take a bold stance against the coyotes if you are approached, and try to do many of the tips in this video to have a stronger defense against them. Most importantly, eliminating outdoor food sources like garbage, small dogs, outdoor cats, and leftover pet food will discourage a coyote from the area. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission can be called if there is an incident of aggressive behavior towards children or adults, or if the coyote appears to have rabies. This does not work, nor is it any kind of a solution. Increase your awareness of the coyote, make small changes suggested in this video, and learn to live in harmony with the urban coyote.